Unit 5, Lesson 10, Using Long Division. Number 1. Kieran is using long division to find 623 divided by 7. He starts by dividing 62 by 7. In which decimal place should Kieran place the first digit of the quotient, 8? Kieran should place the 8 in the tens place. Number 2. Here is a long division calculation of 917 divided by 7. A. There is a 7 under the 9 of 917. What does this 7 represent? The 7 represents 700 because it is in the hundredths place. B. What does the subtraction of 7 from 9 mean? It means taking away 7 groups of 100 from 900. C. Why is a 1 written next to the 2 between the 9 and the 7? The 1 represents 1 group of 10. Combine the 2 which represents 200 and the 1 which represents 10. Together they represent 21 tens or 210. Number 3. Han's calculation of 972 divided by 9 is shown here. A. Find 180 times 9. 180 times 9 is 1,620. B. Use your calculation of 180 times 9 to explain how you know that Han has made a mistake. My calculation tells me that 180 times 9 equals 1,620. Han's calculation of 180 times 9 only gives him 972. C. Identify and correct Han's mistake. When Han subtracted 9 from 9, he got 0, and he brought down the 7 in the tens place. And since 9 doesn't go into 7, he forgot to put the 0 on the top in the tens place. Then he brought down the 2 in the ones place, and he had a 72. He figured that 9 went into 72 8 times, and instead of putting the 8 in the ones place on the top, he put the 8 in the tens place on the top. Number 4. Find each quotient. A. 465 divided by 5. Well, I know that 9 times 5 is 45, so 90 times 5 is going to be 450. So 465 minus 450 equals 15. I know that 5 goes into 15 3 times, so I put a 3 in the 1's place. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 minus 15 equals 0. So 465 divided by 5 equals 93. B. 924 divided by 12. Well, 7 times 12 is 84. So 70 times 12 would be 840. 924 minus 840 is 84. And I know that 12 times 7 is 84. 84 minus 84 equals 0. So 924 divided by 12 equals 77. C. 1107 divided by 3. Well, I know that 3 times 3 is 9, so 300 times 3 would be 900. But since we haven't brought down the tenths place yet, we'll need to bring down the tenths place and we're going to treat this like 110 minus 90. And 110 minus 90 is 20. 6 times 3 is 18. 20 minus 18 is 2. Now we're going to bring down the 7 in the 1's place. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 minus 27 equals 0. So 1,107 divided by 3 equals 369. You can always check your work by doing 369 times 3 and that should get you 1,107. Number 5. One ounce of yogurt contains 1 and 2 tenths grams of sugar. How many grams of sugar are in 14 and 25 hundredths ounces of yogurt? 
Well, the ratio is one ounce of yogurt to one and two tenths grams of sugar. So if you were to change that one ounce of yogurt into 14 and 25 hundredths ounces of yogurt, that means that you'd be multiplying that one times 14 and 25 hundredths. Now we need to multiply the one and two tenths by 14 and 25 hundredths. Just for fun, I thought I'd try something different. I multiplied the one times 14 and 25 hundredths and I wrote the answer on the left hand side in red, 14 and 25 hundredths. And then I took the 2 tenths and I thought, what would be 2 tenths of 14 and 25 hundredths? So in moving the decimal place over to the left, I made it 10 times smaller and that would be worth 1 tenth of 14 and 25 hundredths. So if I did that twice, then that would be worth 2 tenths. So I wrote 1.425 to represent 1 tenth. And underneath it, I wrote 1.425 to represent the second tenth. And when I added those up, 14.25 plus 1.425 plus 1.425, I got 17.1, which is the same thing you'll get if you multiply 1.2 times 14.25. So my answer is C, 17 and 1 tenth grams. Number six. The mass of one coin is 16 and 718 thousandths grams. The mass of a second coin is 27 and 22 hundredths grams. How much greater is the mass of the second coin than the first? Show your reasoning. 27 and 22 hundredths grams minus 16 and 718 thousandths grams equals 10 and 502 thousandths grams. The mass of the second coin is 10 and 502 thousandths grams greater than the first coin. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 5, Lesson 10, Using Long Division.